Hi folks, I'm Jem, the Crazy Pigeon Lady, uh, and uh, welcome back to my series of videos where I answer common questions uh, that I get answered uh, uh, asked about pigeons and doves. Uh, so here we have uh, question number four. Are pigeons really diseased? Um, now this is a really controversial uh, subject. Uh, it's also a complex subject. Um, and there is lots of misconceptions and misinformation out there um, about the nature of pigeons and disease. Um, so hopefully I can address some of those questions here. Um, first of all, it's important to say that there are a number of uh, avian bird specific diseases which affect pigeons uh, and doves um, that are not capable of being transmitted to, to humans. So some of the most common complaints that would cause a pigeon uh, to become sick cannot uh, be transferred uh, to, to humans and a human couldn't catch them uh, from them. Although it might be possible uh, for pigeons to transfer these sorts of diseases uh, to other birds. So things like uh, trichomoniasis or better known as canker or things like paramyxovirus uh, or PMV for short uh, could be transferred between pigeons and between pigeons and other birds, um, but not from pigeons to humans. Um, however, it is possible to pick up disease from a pigeon um, if uh, their faecal material, so their, so their droppings, um, contaminated uh, humans in some way. Um, so the droppings of, of any animal, including humans uh, and including many domestic animals that we keep in our homes, um, are real havens for bacteria. Bacteria love uh, to live on faecal matter. It's, it's great food for them. Um, and really, it's this bacteria um, that causes uh, sickness and causes disease, particularly if that bacteria uh, ends up contaminating food um, or it ends up contaminating water. Uh, and so if pigeons um, and their droppings uh, in particular ended up coming into contact uh, with human food or food preparation surfaces or water systems or even air systems like, like air conditioning systems, um, then that bacteria uh, that lived on their droppings um, could potentially cause sickness in humans if they then went on to breathe the air or drink the water or consume the food that had been contaminated. But it's important to point out that that is not particular to pigeons. That is, that is bacteria that can live on any sort of fecal matter from any sort of animal. And so whilst humans can pick up disease from pigeons, they're also perfectly capable of picking up similar diseases from other animals to, uh, as well, which is why it's important if you keep any sort of animal in your home um, or, in, or in close uh, proximity to humans um, that you should keep good hygiene uh, regimes to ensure that that contamination uh, does not occur. Um, but that is not peculiar to pigeons. Um, that's that's all animals, uh, including humans ourselves. Uh, another way you could potentially pick up disease from pigeons is if you have contact with a lot of pigeons, particularly if you keep a large loft, um, then when you're cleaning the loft and you're, you're probably scraping a lot of uh, dried uh, uh, pigeon droppings, pigeon fecal matter, and as that scraping action, that cleaning action occurs, the the droppings crumble into a kind of dust, and the dust gets into the air, and you can breathe it in, um, and it could end up causing respiratory infections or respiratory uh, disease in the lungs. Another way this can happen is from what's called the feather dander. So when, when, when pigeons preen, um, they pick off um, a lot of uh, bits of feather sheath from, from the new feathers that are growing um, and other particles, um, and they end up getting into the air. Uh, and where you have a large number of pigeons and you're coming into contact with them, you could be breathing this feather dander in and similarly, to the, the powder that the, the pigeon droppings being thrown up from the cleaning process, this can be breathed in uh, and cause respiratory infection or disease. Um, 
This is particularly a problem if you come into contact with a lot of uh, with a lot of pigeons. However, the risk of you getting respiratory infection or disease is considerably smaller if you don't keep very many pigeons at all, perhaps only one or two uh, as pests. And certainly, as pets, sorry, uh, and uh, certainly if you were a member of the public uh, walking down the street, uh, then your chances of, of picking up airborne disease from a pigeon are indeed very, very small. Uh, indeed. And in fact, probably only people like uh, local council workers who are engaging in the cleaning of buildings, perhaps, um, that have perhaps got covered in a lot of, uh, a lot of pigeon faeces, um, might be exposed to an A level of risk, um, which can be mitigated by wearing appropriate protective equipment. So things like face masks or, or gloves or, or, or overalls uh, to pre help uh, prevent that dust uh, getting into your lungs. Um, it's important to say that, that, that similarly the, the, the bacterial disease is not peculiar uh, to pigeons, um, that dust-based um, disease which can be caused to the lungs again isn't peculiar to pigeons in, uh, either uh, and anyone who works in perhaps an industrial environment uh, where they're exposed to a lot of dust and particles um, could potentially um, suffer from respiratory infection or disease as a result of that and therefore that is not necessarily uh, that kind of disease is not necessarily uh, peculiar to 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 pigeons in, in particular uh, the other way that you could potentially be affected uh, abnormally um, by pigeons is is if you have um, allergies particularly if you have allergies to dust or you have allergies to birds specifically um, and that would greatly increase your risk if you were exposed to them or their dust um, or their droppings that you might have um, an allergic reaction. So there you go, in summary, diseases that affect pigeons specifically are not transferable to humans. Um, you could pick up disease for a pigeon if your food, water or air became contaminated by bacteria from their faeces, but that's also common to other animals. And if you keep good hygiene practice, uh, that shouldn't be the case. Or you could possibly be affected by respiratory infection or disease by coming into contact with a large level uh, of dust from their droppings or dander but again, could be mitigated by protective equipment and your risk is considerably slower if uh, lower if there are less pigeons or you're not in close contact with them. And certainly the risk if you're walking down the street from getting disease from a feral pigeon is very, very small indeed. Um, so there you go. That's my summary on disease and pigeons. I hope that's been useful to you. Uh, stay tuned uh, for future Crazy Pigeon videos. Um, thank you for following my page. Keep liking and sharing and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.